Alright, here we go again with the seventh part to my Rome Total War Julii campaign. Right here, I am ending the reign of this guy near Massilia, where they're attacking Massilia and Narbo Martius at the same time. Brave, brave Gauls, but they will take neither city. I will not allow them to. <laughs> and. Yeah. So here's the loading screen. Anyways, if I... <sighs> Sorry about that. So, I'm just gonna, you know, start the deployment because I really don't listen to the generals rag on for a while. So I start the battle. Um, that bridge is important, even though, um, I'm attacking, so, but they started all the way up there, so basically what I do is I head all my troops up there, because instead of clicking me controlling the forces within the city of Massilia, I said AI controls the forces within the city of Massilia, so that was the bad part, um, they're controlling themselves against my enemy all the way over there, instead of me doing it. So the town watch kind of gets slaughtered, but it also allows me to charge the group there like it's nothing. And I do not lose any troops in the army of Decus Julius. I do lose some in the army of Massilia, but that was expected especially with cavalry versus town watch um, yeah if you guys are looking for anything other than this that is interesting to watch um, go to my channel there are three people you should check out there's Dignitas Apollo who is running an Apollo uh, uh, Starcraft channel there is Bazoka the Mojo who's running his channel which is Bazoka Mojo so his name's Bazoko the Mojo, and his channel name is Bazoko Mojo. And then there's Cold Meat Two Four Seven, who plays, who's, who did playthroughs of Rome Total War, is doing Fallout an enemy XCOM enemy unknown, as well as Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. He is doing a campaign as the Saxons. Two of those people I do not know, but Bazoko the Mojo is one of my friends. So you should be sure to check him out. He plays like Skyrim, Oblivion, well, no, not Oblivion, Fallout, stuff like that. He really doesn't have much up on his channel yet, but he's getting there, and yeah. And some good stuff, though he's never really played Fallout 3 before, so he doesn't know 100% what he's doing, um, like some people, they know exactly what they're doing the entire time, they rush from this to this to that, and just do whatever, um, so that's the end of the first battle with Decus Julius over against the Gauls, and it really wasn't that big of one, the next battle is bigger, and I don't even have Decus Julius to help fend off with that battle. By the way, this is an after recording, so I do know what happens in this. Um, I guess you guys really didn't need to know that, but you do. So, hey. Um, my audio was messed up on this one as well. And as I say in my next video, my audio sometimes does come up messed up. It's been recently, and I just, I think I need a new mic. I don't know, we'll see. So that pushes back the general, the army that had a general in it, um, back into Gaul territory, and I am going to march on, try to march on Narbo Martius before it gets besieged, but I don't even get close. Ow. <laughs> that was just me cracking some bones. Um... So yeah, right here I'm just building up a defense around my outer cities because it's good to keep up with the defense of outer cities. As well, I am building an army to head east and take rebel settlements and 
there are three, uh, only a few more turns until Carthage is in my grasp, and then I can start to move throughout Car. Well, actually, I have to make the people of Carthage contend before I can start to move throughout Carthage and destroy the rest of their empire, if you really want to call it that. Um, so far, the Scipii have taken one of their um, cities on the island. I have taken Carolus, and I am now taking Carthage. So, their empire is becoming smaller and smi smaller by the minute. Yeah. But yeah, so if you really like strategy games, go check out Cold Me 247, go check out Apollo, and then if you really like RPGs, like my Oblivion series, you're just watching this, you know, for whatever reason, um, go check out Bazoko Mojo channel, Bazoko the Mojo, but Bazoko Mojo channel, the, you know, I've watched Apollo's videos, he's really good at the game, like extremely good, he is a pro player as well, for those of you who didn't know, and then, um, yeah, I totally lost my train of thought, um, Cold Me 247 is really good at Rome Total War, so, and I think his barbarian invasion campaign is like his first one ever. I don't think he's done one before. I think he mentioned that men mentions that in one of his first videos, but I'm not sure. Um, also, for whoever's watching this, whichever faction you want to see next, though, I mean, not many people are watching the videos. But hey, whatever faction you want to see next, go to my latest video, leave a comment, because this one's actually going by pretty fast. Um, so whichever one you want to see after this one, just leave a comment on my latest video, I'll get to it, and I will um, make plans to do that one next, no matter what it is, whether it's Carthage, or the Egyptians, or the Seleucids, or whatever you want. Now, I could even do the Greek city-states. Um, but yeah, so, just leave a comment on my latest video saying, hey, I'd like to see you do this one. I'll do that one, and if you guys don't comment by the time I'm done my Julii campaign, I will start a new one. Anyways. And then, I'll do, I think I'm going to do two more on Rome Total War, and then I'm going to move on to Medieval Total War and do four or five of the factions in that game. So, and then I might even do Barbarian Invasion, and when I get a newer computer that can handle the graphics of Empire, I will be doing Empire. Because Empire is... A really fun game. I really like the mechanics of Empire, um, and I like the mechanics of Ro Rome. Medieval, not so much, but I do like Medieval. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I hate Medieval, it's just that I don't really like the mechanics as much as these two games. So, yeah. But I'll probably, no matter what, keep up with the videos until they're done. Um, because it is a fun game, don't get me wrong. It's a really fun game. All the Total Wars are that I've played. I have not played Shogun 2. I have not played Shogun. I didn't play Medieval, uh, the first Medieval. Um, but I, the ones, uh, the ones that I have played, they are all fun. And I want to get Shogun 2, but once again, my computer can't run it, um, too well. Because it can't run Empire too well. And I don't have Napoleon either. Which, in my mind, Napoleon, they're basically all the same, but Napoleon seems like just the same, the same exact thing as, um, Midi um, Empire, which I don't know why I 
I should say that because I'm going to get Rome 2 when it comes out anyways because I I will have a newer computer by then but so I really don't know why I'm saying um that Napoleon's probably just like Empire therefore I shouldn't get it so I probably should get it because I'm gonna be getting Rome 2 which is Rome just the second one <laughs> It is the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah. I probably should. But, yeah. I don't have all the DLC for the Empire Total War either. But I heard that the War ca Path campaign was fun. And it was cool playing as the Indians. But the only bad thing was you couldn't like go over to Europe or go over to India. Which, in my opinion, is kind of bullcrap. Because that's like part of... The, that's what makes Empire Total War Empire Total War is the three theaters, the Americas, the uh, Europe, and the India, though you might only start in one, or you might start in two, or you might start in all three. Um, it's not really fun unless there is all three, whether you go and invade one or the other or whatever. Um, my favorite thing to do was be the United Provinces and invade the Martha Confederacy from the south while the Mongols were still around. And then make peace with them after capturing like two or three territories and let them push the Mongols back a lot. And then declare war against them again and push them back up against the, um, see, uh, against the Mongols. See, now here, I deployed all my men here, not even looking at my mini-map for a second, thoughting, thinking that they would come right from uh, straight where they were. Yeah, um, I am total ro totally wrong. If you look at my mini-map, you can see all those arrows outside my wall. Those are all Gaul troops, and I totally didn't look at that, so I deployed them at the wrong wall. So when you're deploying your troops in a, in a siege like this, always look at your mini-map. That is the lesson to be learned here. Um, I will have just barely enough time to... Uh, my troops will have just barely enough time to actually get over here and defend what I can, but for some reason, even though... Well, not really for some reason. Even though I am extremely uh, at a disadvantage, I still do win by charging cavalry and using my missile missiles because I really don't have more troops they actually have more troops but it's just a good thing when you know how to use your own troops better than your enemy because you get much greater results and you win those battles that you might not win if it just counted on numbers alone which is why walls are extremely helpful is because it does help you um, win. It allows you, like if these were stone walls, it would allow me to shoot at my enemy while he approaches. So basically just pick off m a lot of men with my archer, with archers and other th ranged units and when they finally got here they'd be weakened. And then what I'd do is I'd bring my archers off the wall and bring my Hastati up onto the wall and fight them on the wall. Keep them on the wall for as long as possible and that just ruins their day and then you win and it's not that big of a surprise when you do if you have walls I know it's hard for me to invade territories with walls it's just it's hard I tried um, Carthage in a different campaign I tried invading and I just totally got crushed because of the approach I guess I'm not approaching right is the thing and then the gate always has like oil on it, so you really don't want to ram down the gate. That's just a bad idea. You lose more troops going through that gate than you do in the, you know, you do actually fighting your enemies. You lose more just by oil. Sounds like a bad way to die. But yeah. So, um, they will be, they broke through my gates, but luckily I have my Hastati there, so they're gonna, I'm gonna make them begin, um, chucking their 
javelins while my warband infantry advance. So I have my Hastati to hold off the line there. And hopefully, and they do actually, until I have my general in place and I charge, which in my opinion, I have no idea how that worked. These guys actually get in. They are the only group to get in other than those, but they get out. They get expelled pretty quickly. Um, so I don't even count them as getting in. They're the only ones to actually get in and stay in for a while because one charge of my uh, general and they retreated. So, um, and he has his general just sitting there. It actually does come into play after I attack those warband infantry, but it retreats extremely fast after my general and I think one of my warband infantry, uh, mercenary uh, warbands confront him. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, right here, I just engage as much as I can. And there's a lot of just me sending my units, whether they're going to be helpful or not, at my enemy units. See, and those actually didn't requ uh, require a big cavalry charge to retreat. They didn't even require a cavalry charge at all. Which is why I sent them to engage the enemy general so I wouldn't lose as much man hoping that I really wouldn't lose the um, faction family member there because I really have lost enough in the past uh, few battles I lost Flavius and I lost um, one of the other family members and Flavius really wasn't a big loss because you know he's an older guy so it really doesn't matter on that one but the other guy was kind of a loss so that doesn't really help sorry about that so this is just gonna load and I think I'm gonna end the game right after this there's really not much else to do not much else to talk about um, so I'm gonna end my turn after this and then go on to my next video and then I'm gonna be working on more videos to put up just so I can it's not so I can get this out of the way so much as I can actually have the series um, be more towards completed I would actually like to complete it and I thought it was gonna take me a long time but I actually don't think it's going to take me too, too long. It will be a lot of videos um, so far. It's been seven. I have an eighth on the way. So I'll see you guys next time.